with us now are Ingrid and Dorian, and they are friends, and I'm also friends with them. I'm going to be talking about <laughs> um, something that ha- affects a lot of females, uh, 50 plus, and that is menopause. But we're trying to think of a new way to rebrand it. Ingrid and Dorian, I agree with you. I mean, who wants to say menopause? It's just such a weird word, right? Oh, it's the worst. <laughs> it is the worst. You know, when I think of menopause, I think of just like an old lady, you know, mm-hmm. washed up old lady. That's really what I think of it. Right. And um, Dory and I had met during New York Fit Fest very briefly, but afterwards I went to a workshop with her on menopause. Okay. Um, and I heard her say, think about it. Every single passage of your life when you get your period, are you there, God, it's me, Margaret? And as soon as she said that, I was like, I get it. Are you there, God, it's me, Margaret? Everything you needed to know about what was going to happen to your body was in that book. Yes. And so I said, Mm -hmm. how about are you there, God, it's me, menopause? Like, I would get it then. (laughs) Yes. You'd right? understand. Mm-hmm. I totally agree. But I remember I, getting a big box from, you yes. know, of products and all kinds. Uh-huh. Of, they kind of made it fun and less scary. Right. Menopause happens and it's like, shh. No one talks right. about it. You're like, are you sweating to death in bed at night? Right. Like, mm-hmm. uh, luckily, uh, knocking on wood right now, yeah. I breeze through it. And I don't have my mom anymore because she passed away from breast cancer in her 40s. So I didn't have that person to like, hey, are you having this? Are you having that? But a lot of things happen to you physically. Your hair breaks. Oh. Nobody tells you. You yeah. blow. Sometimes you look like you're nine months pregnant when you're not. Right. Right. Well, so, I, I think that I was mentioning to Dorian, I've never been so ill prepared for okay. anything that's going to happen to my own body. When you go through yeah. pregnancy, even everyone tells you mm-hmm. every week what's happening sure. to your body. Oh, yeah. The and baby's now I look this in, big. Right? Yeah, I look in the uh-huh. mirror and I go, oh, whose butt is that? Because that is not my butt, (laughs) right? So thank God I met Dorian because she's been coaching me every single week about fun things that are making me feel good about my body. And the word menopause and the changes needs to go. It needs to be wiped out. I agree 100%. Now, you already have a brand that's called Limitless. You, You are unlimited. You are already vivacious. So what started your journey in that? Well, what started my journey was my kids were getting a little bit older and I wanted to do something. And I always love seeing women empower themselves and take joy in taking care of themselves. So I opened a fitness studio. Okay. And that kind of morphed over time when the women who were coming in who were over 45 would say exactly the same things to me. I don't know what's going on here, but all of a sudden (laughs) I'm gaining all this weight. It's out of control. I don't know what to do. So I said, hmm. I need to find a solution. And the ironic thing is I was 48, 49 at the time. So these changes were starting to happen to my body. So I kind of created this whole methodology and a new wellness solution for women over 45 while I was transitioning through it myself. Nice. So you wanted to have like a sorority of other people around you. You made your own tribe, your own team. Exactly. And I think that's kind of what you've been working towards too, Ingrid, uh, with your FitFest. You know, how many years have you had that now as the co-founder? We're going on five years. Wonderful. But the thing is, um, my partner, uh, Colette Colette Morales, and I started uh, New York Fit Fest. And basically, uh, we want to empower people to be introduced to all types of different ways to help your body be the best that it can be mentally, physically, spiritually. um, And also to, like, get a little group of people that are interested and love you for who you are, whatever that may That's be. That's true, right? Isn't that, I mean, at the, at the end yeah. of the, day, of the yeah. day, isn't that all that really matters? Yeah. It's just accept me for who I am, the good, the yes. bad, the ugly, the mood swings, the yeah. the stress, whatever, just, mm-hmm. just deal right. with it. Because, you know, it's like having yeah. a good attitude, I think, is where it starts. Now, you have links on your website, and you are together. You're going to have some workshops. There's all kinds of exciting yes. things that are happening. We are going to have some amazing workshops at the Alegria Hotel and some other places to bring together women. And it doesn't necessarily have to be women over 50, because <laughs> no. guess what? Yeah, get when you're now. in your 30s, <laughs> you don't know. You need yes. to know right. and be empowered as to what's going to happen to your body. And this one, oh my gosh, <laughs> she has helped me so much. And kept me accountable because you know how busy we are, Donna, like yes. in the media yeah. world, you're constantly going, going. And she had said to me, let me ask you a question. You do amazing things for your clients. Why aren't you treating yourself like a client and yeah. taking that moment for you mm-hmm. wow. and kicking some butt? And, yeah, I remember you know, that tell conversation. Her. Yeah. 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 So 
Um, Ingrid's been amazing to work with. Um, she's just like really diving it in and she's taking her imperfect actions, which is just, you know, really, really important. And, you know, I really try to encourage my clients to defy these negative stereotypes and stigmas mm -hmm. um, that are attached to us once we become 45, especially 50, right? And if you're in your 30s, you're gonna be 45 or 50 someday. So it's really important that all Age women- gracefully. Yeah, are, are but prepared. And yes. the biggest problem for most women is that they weren't prepared. Um, so I try to educate uh, my clients so that they know what's coming. And, and I think what's gonna be great is that we can all like kind of age gracefully, get through this chapter, and then we can start working on our next chapter, right? right. Because people will eventually be 80. I already sent my daughter Elise a picture of the year 2065 because I'm already planning my 100th birthday, right? <laughs> and I we are, you. we, yes. And she said to me the other day, she goes, what's that? I said, well, that's, my birthday falls on a Wednesday. I said, so I don't know if we're going to do a Memorial Day weekend or the weekend after. But you know what? I think that that's a great idea is to, no matter at what age, you know, you're going to go through those stages, what, yeah. you know, take mm -hmm. good care of your bones, take good care mm -hmm. of your health, you know, take good care of your teeth. You know, because uh -huh. hopefully those will last you. Yes. And then, you know. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Like, like, things to death. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I don't want to have to put my teeth in a cup. But, you know, you guys, thank you so much for bringing a little bit of joy and understanding to the topic. And people can reach out to you. They can go to the mm -hmm. link. They can sign up now, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And are you looking for other people, like other companies that want to sponsor? You know, maybe we there's are. like We're some looking, fun things that we, we could really do. We really want to make it something special and uplifting and get excited about this. It's not that bad. It's not as bad as you think. No. You still beautiful you can still be hot you can still be sexy there is no reason that you have to feel this negative connotation with that word it needs to go right it does. how about it mighty paws it's a mighty oh paws. <laughs> that might right? i love it <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, mighty paws. Mighty paws. all right I'm thank you paws. both uh and thank happiness to you always hey if you're going through what we're going through that's kind of what the show is about we are our own target audience so we thank you for watching uh stay tuned we have another fun segment coming up next